Hello everyone. So previously we have seen how we can dockerize the Spring Boot application and run it locally. So in this video, we'll try to um, use this uh, environment variable over here. First of all, let me um, stop this. And if I see Docker PS, and Docker PS all. Either you can uh, stop uh, from here, or either you can. Um, uh, stop directly from uh, docker desktop so here if you want you can just give this uh, first initial unique number so if I hear the 6 and 5 are different so I can just uh, simply say that 6 and it is there and now that lets me try this thing now if I say PSA uh, it is already uh, stopped but now you can say RM 6 and 5 both so now it will not be there okay and now if you see images uh, docker okay sorry. there is one image and you can stop this image using this number and here the image id is starting with the seven so you don't need to put all the letters you can just put the first one but if there are two images which starts with the seven then you will have to put until unless you find a unique prefix all right and if i go here there is no image currently now what i will do is simply um, introduce an environment variable and i'll simply say um, controller and here i'll introduce um, at the rate value for app e environment okay so I simply say value and environment and here I just print this uh, app environment okay all right so we can see the logs uh, inside the container as well and uh, here I will also uh, return the environment variable name so if I run this application then perhaps I will get an error just because because we have not passed any sort of an environment over here if you can see app environment value is not there so what I will do is simply copy this and here in edit configuration and click on this more option and go with this uh, add VM option and here minus T equal to say dev environment okay now let us try and run it okay and now if I check this uh, on a local host can see app environment is there and it is also been printed over here all right now i'll create uh, let's stop this i'll create a docker file I already docker file is there which was previously created and here if i have to pass this environment uh, app environment equal to dev okay but if you don't pass then we'll get the same error that we got previously and now um, I simply again uh, create a new um, docker tag I would say to, uh, tag 1.2 and here also 1.2 let's try to run this uh, to command over here okay so if I say docker images then we have a new image created with the tag 1.2 and now if I run this application locally then you can see our Spring Boot application is running and if I refresh it again hello world with docker okay so one thing uh, we missed here is uh, when we are creating a new docker file we have to recompile the application otherwise it will take the previous one okay so i'll just stop this thing control c and again 
let's do a package it again okay I'll just in this stage you can also disable the test and run it let's run it again this is only for um, a demo purpose otherwise you should have always enabled the test if you want to disable you can just click on the test and here toggle the skip test mode okay so now again um, I just go with the stack 3 and let us copy paste and run this thing it is running it is uh, the image is built so now let's check okay so we have another image with the tag 1.3 now let us run this tag 1.3 let's wait for some time and now our application is running now let us try to check and I'll refresh this page and we got this answer okay so whenever you have any sort of a change in the docker file or a spring boot file then you need to recompile so that the new jar file is created and the docker file can point to that jar file all right all right so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video